Okay, we're going to begin with uh, the north. Uh, this is um, based on compass score. Okay, so this is traditional Chinese watch. So it has to do with the macrocosm and the microcosm. I said to you earlier in our notes, you've got that uh, the outside affects how we feel on the inside. So when we change something on the outside, it automatically changes something on the inside. You decorate something, you do that for your clients, they're astounded by the, visit, the results they get. Okay? Their life is transformed as a result of the work that you have done for them. You've changed their outside space, which means it changes how the way they feel on the inside. Are you happy with your job? Happy with your... This area really deals with quality of life in everything that you do. So is all that working? Or is it effective? You get it sometimes and not. Is it intermittent? It happens sometimes but not others. Does it not happen at all or does it happen all the time? So there are kind of three states we can have. And we can use the five elements to balance that. So the host here, the most important element here is water. So metal, white things here, rounded things help to stimulate flow. Water colours, black, dark blue, flowing shapes, all that is good here. Now, if you've got too much earth, this, these days, we tend to paint everything neutral colours. So they tend to be earthy magnolia colours. And in the north, what happens is the earth controls the water. So the magnolia colours, the neutral colours, tend to be earth colours. And instead of your light flowing, it doesn't flow anymore, it becomes on hold. So all the things that you wanted to do, you can't do, because it's almost like you're stuck in a cycle, stuck in a rut, you can't get out. Do, do you have any hearing problems? I do, actually. Right. Because it, it sounds like you, you've got too much earth and too much water. So that tells me that you need metal in that place. There's not enough metal. And you find when you put enough metal in there, your hearing this goes back to when we used to live in caves when we used to paint on the cave walls what we wanted to achieve in our life principally it was food so we put animals on our cave walls and you know what we were able to feed the tribe so we got a bit more sophisticated from that from there now we put symbols up here what we want to achieve in our life what do you want to achieve in your life if it's full swag or something related to full swag put these notes in there Mm -hmm. They don't have to be on show. Mm -hmm. Mind you, you might want to frame it. What a nice cover that is. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the universe what it is you want to do. It represents the present, now, okay? and short-term future. What is it you want to do now? Whatever's in here already is affecting your life now. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing we look at is the energy. Is it flowing? If it is, your life will flow smoothly. If it's erratic, there's something in here that's stopping that. 